Benedict, you're reporting there that um, Theresa May may be able to survive the confidence vote, but what scenarios are we looking at if that is not the case? If Theresa May loses this vote, she can stay on as uh, Prime Minister while someone else is going through the process of being leadership candidate and then being elected by the party. And the way it would work uh, is this, we believe. Uh, there would then be a choice uh, of candidates who would put themselves forward. Uh, there has been speculation that there could be as many as 15. I think the ideal scenario uh, that the Conservative Party is probably likely not to come up with but some would say is one candidate because that would speed everything up. So it seems that there would be two phases. One where there's that internal parliamentary phase where it's whittled down to two candidates and then those two candidates selected by the Conservative Parliamentary Party, those two names are put to the membership. Now that's what could take quite a long time and we could be seeing that happen and that result only come after the membership are consulted then we could have a result early, mid-January. And that, of course, is being seen as more uncertainty for business, uh, more problematic machinations going on. And as far as the Labour leader, Jeremy Corbyn, is concerned, this is simply, uh, he says, an irrelevance. Uh, we're waiting and wondering, and certainly the Scottish National Party is trying to push him to actually ask for a no-confidence vote in the government. That's not what is happening here tonight. This is a vote of confidence in the Prime Minister and in her leadership of the Conservative Party. But lots of candidates on manoeuvres. I won't names, name names yet, but I will once we get that all-important result this evening, whether Theresa May fights on as Conservative Party leader uh, or whether she falls tonight. Benedict Pavia reporting for us from London.